Well, packed with deep mystery, family secrets, and shocking truths, the new limited series VC Andrews Dawn is the ultimate summer escape. Jesse Metcalf stars as Dawn's father, who, while dealing with the loss of his wife, has another bomb dropped on him. Watch this. Dad, Dad, do not start blaming yourself. I tried to get her to come, and she wouldn't. And I didn't listen to you either. There he is, officer. Plain as day. I knew I recognized you. Old man Longchamp, that's me. You're under arrest. Under arrest? What's going on? I love you guys. I love you. Dad! And Jesse joins me now. Welcome. Good to see you. Thank you. Good to be here. You like you like the drama? I like the drama. <laughs> Listen, this is, I mean, there's a lot of drama in V.C. Andrews' Absolutely. books. Did you read Absolutely. the books? Were you familiar? You know what? I didn't really read the books, but I was very familiar with the original 84 movie, Flowers in the Attic. <laughs> yeah. It uh, totally creeped me out as a kid. So to, to be part of that that legacy, the, the canon of V.C. Andrews is, is pretty incredible. That creeped me out as a kid, too, yeah, I have definitely. to say. But we, we watched inappropriate things as we kids. We did. We definitely did. Uh, but you played. Don's father. Tell us a little bit about Armand. Ormond. Well, I mean, this is really my first uh, father role. I know. Um, and I, the the way I portrayed Ormond was was kind of an amalgamation of my two grandfathers. Both of my grandfathers um, were first generation immigrants, um, and one particular grandfather was an Italian. Uh, you know, from uh, from Brooklyn, and he he considered himself a bit of a singer. He yeah. used to sing like all the old all the old tunes to me. You know, growing up, and uh, so that's why I took uh, the the Brooklyn accent. And yeah. I, I I don't know. I felt a kinship with this character. I I loved being a part of this movie. It was a great ensemble cast. Great yeah. chemistry between the actors. So. And he's great complicated, experience. right? He's a little complicated in his life choices. He, he has but... a little bit of a, a sordid <laughs> past. Yeah. yeah. So you'll have, to, you'll have to tune in to see what we're talking about. Yeah. I mean, you're you're used to the heartthrob roles. I mean. Obviously, from Desperate Housewives, we all seen you yeah. in those roles. What was it like playing a father? It's a nice departure. Definitely. Yeah. As I've gotten older, I've gotten the opportunity to play more character roles. I consider this to be a character role, um, even though I'm, I'm only in the first installment of this, uh, you know, four-part limited series on yeah. Lifetime. Uh, but yeah, I'm getting a lot of really great opportunities as an actor, That's so I'm good. happy. That's good. Uh, we get to hear you sing a little bit in this too, and, and I know that music <laughs> actually plays an important part in your your real life. So uh, yeah, what was it like, yeah. kind of bringing you that? Know, I mean, to I, this? I sing and play guitar a bit as a hobby. Um, so yeah, it's always fun, um, you know, to sing or play an instrument as. as is that on your resume as special skills? I, I think it is. Yeah. I, think, <laughs> yeah. I think it's it's on the bottom there. You know, I think that was print. in my yeah. skill. <laughs> uh, but you, you know, we, we we just we just spoke about you playing these juicy heartthrob roles. Obviously, well, you know, I mentioned Desperate Housewives, which you were on with Eva Longoria, right. and you just reunited with her on the red carpet. You know, people are talking about. Uh, you said you'd be open to a reboot of Desperate Housewives. Where do, would you see them 15 years later? Wow. I mean, that's. Uh, Certainly not for me to decide, but I think they're probably, you know, 15 years later, they're probably in other relationships. Uh, you know, we'd probably have to have another affair. I, I guess, know. I feel you know? like so they have, have to, to figure out how our paths would cross and you know how we'd spark that affair. But Darn. I'm definitely game. I was gonna say, <laughs> twist your arm. Um, we also have a few movies out. One of them's on a wing and a prayer. What can yeah. you tell us about it? Well, I, it, it's a true story um, about. Uh, a guy who just started taking flying lessons, having to f having to land this very complicated aircraft after the pilot dies of a heart attack, in order to save himself and his family. And I play uh, Carrie Sorensen, who is an a real expert, person, a real right? person, yeah. a real pilot, who was an expert in this particular aircraft and was able um, to talk Doug White. Uh, down so that you know he and his family could live. Uh, it's you know a How really I mean, do you inspiring like playing story. A real person though, because well, yeah, yeah, yeah. like there's extra pressure. There's extra pressure, but being a part of a true story, I think, uh, and and playing a real person, I don't know. There's a little extra gravitas to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You know? and, and and that type of subject matter has a little bit more credibility. I feel like so from an acting perspective, it's. Uh, it's, it gives you kudos to, to play those types of roles. Yeah. Well, there's been a lot of, like, early 2000s nostalgia lately, and that includes John Tucker Must Die, mm -hmm. uh, which people, I mean, do you see, people are still talking about this movie. Do you see any clips when you're, like, scrolling through TikTok or anything yeah, like that? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, look, I'm very, I'm very proud of the movie. Uh, I like that it's been passed, passed down from previous generations. 
Um, I, I consider it a bit of a, a teen uh, comedy cult classic. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Uh, there's, there's all kinds of stuff about the movie on TikTok, and there actually is rumor of a, of a sequel. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, what are you gonna? Are you gonna be in it? What can you tell us I, about I, I it? I would like to be, but I can't. I can't say much. <laughs> maybe you and Eva Longoria could be. <laughs> maybe maybe I can get her a cameo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it was lovely chatting with you nice and with catching you. up. You can catch part one of VC Andrews Dawn Saturday at 8 p.m. on Lifetime. Just because to see it. Thanks so much. See you. Thank yeah. you.